You. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? You walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, they could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there. You and me. We shouldn't be here. It's these Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rebellion. But if they captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Debella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. the house. Now. Whoa. Yes, Papa. Get these prisoners out of the carts. Move it! Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We worked with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! <sighs> Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. Lokir of Rorikstad. No! I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. Who are you? That's right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Gridlock, and this is Game Talk Live, and we're bringing you some Skyrim. This is going to be, uh, I'm going to do this in a couple parts. Um, I'm pretty sure I completely screwed up the audio balance, so uh, if I'm too loud, just uh, turn me down. I'll turn myself down in a second. But, um, yeah, I just picked this up today. Um, it is, uh, if I knew the date, I would tell you. Uh, you lose track of days here. It's November 11th right now. It's 9:04 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm uh, I'm recording this now. I, I figured I'd do a, like a half hour long, like two part set. Um, right now, I figured I'll just go through the character customization. It's uh, very intricate, so I might not get through the whole thing. So I think within uh, uh, pretty soon, I'll probably go through probably go through most of this, and then the next part will be some actual gameplay. But uh. As usual, come, coming from Bethesda, this is a 
very always very intricate character customizations here I don't know what I should be though I don't want to be an orc unfortunately for those uh, those orc enthusiasts out there I'm uh, I'm not very not very much of a fan to be totally honest with you don't want to be an imperial because well you know I just don't want to be an imperial Skills, combat, magic, anywhere gold coins must be might be found. Imperials always seem to find a few more. It's always nice to get some money, but uh, I don't know. I think I might. Uh, well, there's a possibility I might just go with a Nord. I was looking at it from before. Nords were looking pretty sweet. I like I like I like warrior classes. I generally like a lot of balanced out. So there's there's a possibility I might do I might do Imperial. Honestly, I might end up doing the uh, an Imperial. Um, I know I just said I wasn't going to, but uh, they look to be a little bit more balanced, a little bit more for me. Plus, I like a lot of money. I'm not a fan of, uh, you know, reptilian race. So, uh, yeah, we'll hurry this right along. We'll get into Imperial. Um, the reason why I wanted to do this is I kind of wanted to mix it up. We do a lot of, we do a, a whole lot of uh, StarCraft too, as you know. Or if you've watched this before, you will know. If not, then you have no idea. Um, but we do a whole lot of StarCraft 2. Um, we wanted to kind of... Uh, well, I wanted to kind of mix it up a bit. So I figured I'd do a little bit of this. And I, I might end up doing a little bit of a um, little bit of Battlefield streaming. Um, possibly. I have Battlefield 3. I, I've already beaten the campaign. Um, I think I might just uh, do a few... Do a few videos of some, of some multiplayer. I might play through the campaign again on a uh, harder difficulty. You must excuse me. I have a bit of a cold right now, so it's a little bit hard for me to talk. Oh, God. That was not good. Going through a few presets here. Uh, oh, God. I want to be that guy. That guy's looking a little rough. Let's see here. Don't want to be an old man. I'm really not a fan of the old man status. Yeah, this looks promising. Skin tone. I'm a little bit of a lighter guy, so we'll go with a little bit of a lighter tone. Weight. Oh, come on now. You gotta have a little bit of buff, buff to you. Can't be here if you're like that. That scrawny. Give a little bit of weight to the get to the guy. Oh, complexion. Um, I've always been. Uh, I've always been more partial to a bit of a grizzled complexion. Let's see here. Yeah, it looks about good. Dirt. I. I'm okay with not having a whole lot of dirt on me. I'm completely fine with that. Dirt color. Is there a lot of colors of dirt? Scars, yeah, I kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm partial to scars. I'm not gonna put any across my face, but yeah, it looks pretty good. More paint. Hmm. Looks like I'm from Kiss. Looks like he should be a member of Kiss. Oh, there you go, black metal, straight black metal right there. Should be in Burzum. No, I'm gonna. We'll, we'll we'll spare the war paint for now. Face. Oh boy. Here's the. Here's where it gets really intricate. I'm I'm sorry. I know a lot of people love to see character customizations, but if you've seen one real intricate, you know, like you know, Elder Scrolls, it, always a perfect example of intricate character customization. If you've seen one, you've seen them all, and you know what it's like. I'm not really gonna delve too too far into it. Uh, neck color. That is interesting. Okay, maybe that is pretty cool, but um, I'm just not a fan. I, I kind of like the generics. Usually keep it pretty generic. Now eye color, I will, I will uh, go really hard with that one. I kind of like, kind of like goofing around with the eyes a little bit. I'm actually really colorblind, so I can't really tell what color that is, but it looks cool. I will say that. Eye tint. Uh, I want to look like I've slept. 
Let's see, eye color, eye shadow. I'm not putting makeup on. Sorry. Brows, brow type, brow width. I'm okay. His brows look fine to me. Hair. Here, here's where I, uh, here's where I get really into it. Let's see, what do we got here? I don't know. See, see, I, personally myself, I have a shaved head. I, I like, I like really short hair. Um, not a big fan of long hair usually. If there's something that's suits me fairly well, I will go ahead and let's see, turn around, turn around. There we go. Yeah, I kind of like I kind of like some wacky hair. Usually given some more of the wonky types like the mohawk. I don't know about that, but that might be okay. That might be acceptable. See, that's 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 where I'm at right now. This is what my head actually looks like. Well, at least my hair. Nah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go wacky. We're gonna go. No, that that just looks like somebody out of the Cure. Not okay with that. We'll go with the we'll go with the Mohawk. Come on now, come on. You, you gotta you gotta do the Mohawk. Uh, let's see, facial hair. I don't want that. Whatever that is, I don't even know what what. It's like Grandpa O'Malley right there. Let's see. Uh we'll we'll keep it looking like me. We'll we'll see. Let's see. Where's the uh, where's the full, grown out stubble? There it is. There it is. That's what I'm looking like right now, minus the mohawk deal. If you wanted to, if you wanted to see me in a like, straight up, that's if you wanted to know what my hair, and my face look like. There you go. There you go. That's me. That's that's actually me right there. Let's see hair color. Uh, oh, jeez. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh God. Oh God. I lost it. Uh, let's see. There's not really a whole lot as far as hair color to choose from. I'm gonna go with that real dark, 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 dark. dark. All right, and we'll hit R. Okay. Enter name. Uh. Good luck. You're a long way from the Imperial City. Okay, so we went through character customization. I'm gonna stop the part there. I think we're at about 15 minutes. Um, uh, maybe not. Maybe a little bit sooner. But um, I'm gonna clear through a few of these things real fast. I'm gonna I'm gonna get some tissues for my cold. Um, and we will be back with part number two of my first impressions of Skyrim. Thanks, everyone.